Education Minister Simon Birmingham says the government would be open to considering cutting funding for the yes and no cases in a same-sex marriage plebiscite. As Parliament prepares to debate the issue, the government offered $7.5 million to each side of the plebiscite campaign to explain their positions, but Labor has called for the funding to be removed. Um, I think that's a, a reasonable point of debate. I think we have worked very hard to try to keep the cost of the plebiscite as low as possible, to make sure there are safeguards around um, any government-funded advertising that occurs uh, so that we can ensure it is respectful. Um, ultimately, if that is something the Labor Party want to take out uh, in return for support for a plebiscite, well, they should say so and put mm. it on the table. But it's a reasonable request, is what you're saying? Well, it would be a reasonable request and then one that we could consider ourselves. A caucus will decide tomorrow whether they will support the matter. Joining me now is Millie Fontana. She's a 24-year-old daughter of lesbian parents. I'm sure, uh, Millie, that there's a, a lot more to you than just the title that I've given you. But thank you for your time. You don't support uh, a vote in Parliament. You would like to see a plebiscite. Is that right? Absolutely. I think it's up to the entire country to make this decision. I think it's way too broad to be decided in-house because people feel so strongly on the topic. I don't see a way in which we can actually fairly decide this in Parliament mm -hmm. without giving Australians a say. Do you support changing the Marriage Act or, or are you even sceptical about giving couples a right to marry in a same-sex marriage circumstance? Yeah, um, my concerns directly fall in line with child reproduction and how same-sex marriage in itself will, you know, significantly impact us as the children of the gay community. But as we know, a product of you, same-sex couples can already have children. So what are your concerns there? I mean, personally, have you struggled with this? Yeah, I mean, as, you know, Penny Wong likes, likes to state, you know, we, we exist, um, the gay community already has children. In my understanding, what's happened is we've had a long-standing history of people going through inappropriate channels to get children and a lot of trial and error-based parenting. We've sort of got a grey area here where we need to actually open up our dialogue when it comes to parenting styles and what actually is right for children in these scenarios. Mm. I personally believe that a child deserves a right to their biological mother and father wherever possible, regardless of what your family circumstance is. And that's the direction of our family law court as it is. So same-sex marriage being brought in, marriage being so closely intertwined with child mm. reproduction, we really need to look at these issues before it comes into play. So, as I pointed out, same-sex couples can already have children, uh, as we can see with you, <laughs> yes, uh, Millie. Uh, but you have a, do have a good relationship with your, with both of your, well, all three of your parents, yes, as absolutely. you pointed out to me. But what's your concern with changing the marriage act? Do you think it would normalise same-sex marriage, and therefore more children will be born into a situation that you have? Is is that your concern? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. My mother actually put this to me in a hypothetical sense. She asked me if, you know, her and her partner were able to be married back when I was a child, if that would have helped me to normalise myself in society. And it's absolutely not the issue. The issue at hand was always that I was fatherless and I had issues with fatherlessness. So for me, it's really important that we acknowledge children in that circumstance mm. and go, OK, maybe a child does deserve a right to a mother and a father to know their genetic background, family history, heritage. All of these things are really actually quite important to children and we need to take a look at it from a different perspective. So in this same-sex marriage debate, and I, I think uh, the momentum's really there for the Marriage Act uh, to change. I don't know whether you agree with me in that, but you'd like to see... Uh, if it is heading that way, safeguards put in place for children in particular, so rights to um, see their bi biological father or, or mother. Would, would that alleviate some of your concern, do you think? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously we can't put rules around the way people parent their children. It's mm -hmm. not a logically possible matter. But what we can do is change our cultural attitude towards the topic. And what I really want to see happen is people be encouraging towards co-parenting mm -hmm. um, and giving their children relationships with their biological families, as long as, you know, they're not a threat to that child. I think it's a really reasonable request. We have seen some concerns from Labor in particular, and I don't think they're going to support this uh, push for a plebiscite, because they say that there's already such a toxic debate around it. And, and Bill Shorten and, indeed, Patrick McGorry, who's a very well-respected uh, mental health professional, says that this could actually risk um, gay men and, and women who are already struggling uh, to self-harm. What do you think about that argument? 
The suicide argument is very popular, but I take issue with it simply because having the expectation that, mm. you know, fragile youth are going to self-harm and insisting that, you know, the only logical reaction to this sort of debate is self-harm, to me is very toxic. It's almost giving our children permission to feel that way mm. when really we should be encouraging them and supporting them through any issues they might have. I personally think that we are all responsible for reconciling our own feelings, yeah. you know, and when it comes down to it, we need to be building strong children mm. instead of focusing on you know, potential things that can happen to them yeah. through what they're exposed to. Billy, just finally, do you, are you frustrated? Because I'm a supporter of same-sex <laughs> marriage, but I've not lived through, your, I don't have your personal circumstance. Are you frustrated with people like me uh, out there supporting same-sex marriage when I haven't lived through what you have? No, I mean, it's only natural. You'll only make that decision for yourself based on what you've looked at in the media and what you've experienced. I mean, for me, it's not even the male, male, female, female aspect of marriage I take issue with. And for a lot of people, they are also interested in the rights of children. And it's something that's been brushed under the cover in the debate. Millie Fontana, fascinating discussion, and thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> no worries. Coming up after the break, Hurricane Matt.